A's hosting the Angels, and the Angels are minus 155 on the money line. The A's are plus 130. The over-under is eight runs. The Angels, laying a run and a half on the run line, are plus 115, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win this game by a minimum of two. And the A's getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 135, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to first pitch tomorrow. Sandoval pitched once against the A's this year, uh, twice against the A's this year. Five innings, one run, one earn. They won that game 13 to one in Oakland. He struck out two and then seven innings, three runs, two earn. They won that game 11 to three and he struck out five in that game. They are one and four as a team in his last five starts. He's averaging five innings pitched and 5.4 strikeouts per game in those games with an ERA of 2.2. The over is 3-2 and two in his last five starts, although the under hit in the last game that he pitched in. One earned run, seven strikeouts, one home run, 107 pitches. Two earned runs, four strikeouts, 100 pitches. He, although he did give up six, only two of them were earned. Four earned runs, six strikeouts, 83 pitches. Two earned runs, eight strikeouts, one home run, 99 pitches. Two earned runs, three strikeouts, one home run, 90 pitches. He's won his last two appearances against the A's, and he's 2-1 and one in his last three, winning 11-3, 13-1, and then losing 5-4. Seven innings, three runs, two earned, five strikeouts, one home run, 105 pitches. That was the 11-3 game. Five innings, one run, one earned, two strikeouts, one home run, 86 pitches. That was a game they won 13-1. And then six innings, no runs, no earned, six strikeouts, 97 pitches, and they lost that game 5-4. For the A's, Sears pitched once against the Angels this year. Four and a third, six runs, six earned. They lost that game 8-7 to seven in L.A., and he struck out four. They're 0-5 as a team in his last five starts. He's averaging four and two-thirds innings pitched and 5.8 strikeouts per game in those games, and his ERA is at 4.4. The over is 3-2 and two in his last five starts. Six earned runs, eight strikeouts, three home runs, 98 pitches. Seven earned runs, four strikeouts, two home runs, 68 pitches. Three earned runs, six strikeouts, one home run, 97 pitches. Four earned runs, six strikeouts, 86 pitches. Two earned runs, five strikeouts, 95 pitches. That's his last uh, five starts. And I've read off his last two appearances against the... Well, I've read off his last one. He's 0-2 in his last two against the Angels. Head-to-head... The home team is on a three-game winning streak. The home team is 7-3. and three. These teams are 5-5 five and five against each other in their last 10. The Angels are on a three-game winning streak. The favorite is on a three-game winning streak. The favorite is 5-5 five and five on the money line, while the underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is 6-4. and four. There have been six one-run games in their last 10 meetings, including the last game they played against each other. The over is hit in their last two. The over-under is 5-5. Five and five. And the over eight is five, four, and one in their last 10 games. The last three that they played against each other, the Angels won 8 7, 11 3, and 5 to 3. And the A's won the first game of that series 11 to 10. And then the Angels won 6 0 and 13 to 1. And then the A's won 2 to 1 to open the season. So the A's are, the Angels are 5 and 2 against the A's so far this year. The Angels are 3-7 and seven in their last 10, 1-3 and three in their last 4, and the over is 6-4 and four in their last 10. The over has hit in their last 3 games. Losing to the Mets 3-2, then to the Phillies 6-4 and 12-7, and then beating this, the Phillies 10-8. And for the A's, they are 5-5 five and five in their last 10, 1-4 and four in their last 5. The over-under is 5-5 five and five in their last 10. Losing to the White Sox 6-1, then losing to the Mariners 7-0, then beating them 3-1, then losing 5-4. As much as this is gonna, this is supposed to be a one-run game, when Sandoval pitches, they aren't one-run games. So I'm going to take the Angels with the money line, the Angels laying the runs, and I'm going over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.